J.D. Vance's response to Barack Obama's remarks about black men being hesitant to support Kamala Harris offers a sharp critique of how the Democratic Party engages with its voters. Rather than relying on tactics that guilt or pressure people into supporting certain candidates, Vance suggests they should dig deeper into why some, including black men, are gravitating toward figures like Donald Trump. For many, this attraction is tied to frustrations with issues like censorship, control over ideas and actions, and feeling left behind economically. You know, first of all, I don't believe whether you agree or, with me or disagree with me, whether you agree with Donald Trump or disagree with him, I don't believe in hectoring voters. I believe in persuading voters. Your, your the support is not something I'm given or something I'm owed. It's something you got to go out there and work for. So one, I just don't like the tone of going in. I mean, look, has, the, the better question for Barack Obama or anybody to ask is not why black men. It's not, it's not how dare you not vote for Kamala Harris. It's maybe they're thinking about voting for Donald Trump because they're sick of being censored. They're sick of being told what to do. And they're sick of not being able to afford the American dream. Maybe that's why we're getting a lot more black voters than Republicans in the past. Vance's approach to voter participation is more about persuasion than force. He takes issue with Obama's tone, arguing that no voter, regardless of race, should be patronized or assumed to be automatically loyal. Voters are fatigued by constant lectures and want to see real outcomes, particularly in terms of economic growth and the chance to achieve the American dream. Vance frames the political shift as a rejection of top-down commands, identity politics, and restrictions on personal freedom. He also points out the growing break in black voter loyalty to the Democratic Party, a stronghold for decades. The Republican Party, in his view, has gained ground by championing freedom of speech and economic empowerment. Vance underscores that black voters aren't a monolith. They're increasingly open to alternative political ideas that push back against the status quo.